హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు అనదర్ ఎపిసోడ్ ఆఫ్ రెంటెక్ టుడే వీ విల్ డిజైన్ ఏ సోలార్ పవర్డ్ స్టేర్ వే ఎల్ఈడి లైట్ దట్ గెట్స్ ఆటో ఓన్ బై సెట్ సన్సెట్ ఫర్ దిస్ వీ విల్ బీ హ్యావింగ్ టూ పార్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ డిజైన్ వన్ వుడ్ బీ ఏ డిజైన్ ఫర్ ఏ బ్యాటరీ ఛార్జర్ ఫర్ విచ్ వీ విల్ యూస్ ఏ సెవెన్ ఏహెచ్ ట్వెల్వ్ వోల్ట్ సీల్డ్ మెయింటెనెన్స్ ఫ్రీ లెడ్ యాసిడ్ బ్యాటరీ దట్ ఈస్ కామన్లీ యూస్డ్ ఇన్ ఇన్వర్టర్ then for the switching purpose we will use a mosfet uh, based switching circuit which i have uh, designed and shown in the left side you can get the circuit diagram for this uh, in the attachment that will be below this uh, video the components that we will be using is uh, for the mosfet we will be having ir of 540 and a transistor 2 and 222a and for the charging circuit uh, we would be using a 7812 charger uh, ideally the 7812 charger would not be able to charge a 7 7ah uh, 12 volt sealed maintenance free battery because the battery needs a cyclic voltage of 14.1 to 14.4 to achieve the 14.4 what we would do is we would connect uh, three diodes in uh, this mode so that we will have the ground voltage uh, hired or um, uh, hiked to 0.7 into 3 that is uh, 2.1 volts so with that our 7812 would be able to easily deliver around uh, 12 uh, i mean 14. Point 5 uh, volts or so depending on the uh, diodes um, capabilities one now let us start designing our 7812 uh, charge controller we will design the 7812 charge controller in a small uh, piece of uh, general purpose pcb and i'll come back here is the general purpose pcb 7812 based circuit uh, so we'll have uh, two filtering capacitors one electrolytic capacitor capacitor and non electrolytic capacitor the value of the electrolytic capacitor is 100 microfarad 25 volt and the non electrolytic is uh, uh, 0.1 microfarad we will be having as depicted in the diagram we will be having the three and in 4007 diodes in series uh, configuration out here and i have checked the voltage so here is the circuit that is now made uh, with the 12 volt regulator and uh, you can see the multimeter showing the whole value when i checked it it's showing 14.53 however since we are going to have a series um, diode the voltage to the battery will be further reduced now we will move to the switching circuit creation uh, let us move to uh, create our uh, switching circuit diagram based on the mosfet this also is uh, designed in a small general purpose pcb and uh, that's also done so here uh, i have the input uh from the charger to here and then uh, this would be the line that would be going to the uh, stairway led and uh, these are the lines that will go to the solar panel now the leds that uh, we would be using are a general uh, generally available 1.4 watt leds of this size as an enclosure we will uh, reuse uh, a, a pen box that i got when i bought a pen so for this what we will do is we need a reflector and uh, we need to put the uh, leds on top for the reflector i am using a, a snacks uh, some uh, cover which is having a reflective coating on top cut to the shape of the box and what i would do is i would uh, 
keep the leds arranged on top of this like this there will be four leds uh, four uh, set of leds uh, which uh, would easily generate um, around 5 watts of power i'll come back after doing i am back with the modifications done to the box so this is the box that i have taken i drilled two holes on the side uh, one is for the panel entry and the other is for the wire for the battery also i have uh, more, okay the tools used to, to do this is a, a small uh, handle uh, which i used to put two holes into the uh, box into the metal box and over to the LED side, uh, this is what I have done. I stuck the uh, paper there so that it becomes uh, completely reflective. You may even decide not to use the reflective coating so that you can see the circuit board inside, which gives more uh, kind of um, visual, better visual experience. I stuck the LEDs using a glue from uh, Fevicol which is um, uh, some clear glue we call it as all fix so all the four leds are stuck using that one you may even uh, use a double sided tape to do the same thing and uh, this uh, this reflective coating is also stuck to the box using the fevicol now let us do the final assembly and the wires are there so these are in uh, parallel mode, all the four are in pa parallel mode and they are all 12 volt LEDs. So that we can use a 12 volt 7H uh, battery. I'll do that and come back. So the LED panel will uh, look like after sticking in all the four 1.5 watt 12 volt uh, LED strips. <laughs> You can see the DC volt mentioned on the right side. I mean on the left side, this is 12 volt and uh, you can see it as one, oh, you can see it as 1.5 watts. Now we can do a module wise test. This is the IR of uh, 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 switching circuit, IR of 540 switching circuit and uh, I have a battery eliminator here uh, that we can simulate it uh, as a battery for the testing purpose. Currently it supplies around uh, uh, 14.7 uh, volts and so we can uh, so the idea here is uh, when the uh, panel is not providing a power the light should come on and when the panel provides uh, power the light should go off so these two wires are meant for the battery this this wire is meant for the battery and uh, these small wires are meant for the panel so when there is power in this panel uh, wire the light should go off and when uh, battery alone is in the circuit the power should come on or the light should come on that that's the idea so let me stick it into the um, ups yeah you can see that it comes on now Now, uh, to simulate the real life situation, I will use this positive terminal of, uh, of the panel uh, to connect to the battery point. See, now you can see that the light has gone off, comes on, goes off. Okay, let me now assemble the remaining items and then uh, we will come back. Well, friends here is the setup this is the solar panels 12 volt here is our light here is our battery so this is now connected uh, to the solar panel so battery charging is happening and uh, during that time this led will be 
switched off. Now I'll just simulate the condition what occurs in the evening by removing this uh, connection. Now, since there is a capacitor inside there, it takes a bit of time for the um, um, light to come up. See, you can see the light that has come up. Now, if I again put it back to the charging condition, there is by connecting to the solar panel, light will just go off. Comes on. Takes a, f a couple of seconds to come on because of the capacitor inside the charger. You can see the light that has come on. So that is done. If you like this video, please like it. If you disliked it, please dislike it. You may please sur subscribe to get whatever I upload later. Thank you viewers for watching this.